Hello and welcome to day 20 in this quest for a 2000 rating on chess.com. Uh, so let's find an opponent here and begin. All right, so it is searching. All right, we have the black pieces and they start with E4. All right, so we will respond with E5 and see how they continue. All right, so bishop to C4, the bishop's opening. All right, so uh, let's see. We'll go ahead, play a knight to f6 here. And they respond with d3. So maybe they're going to set up a London system. Oh, wait, excuse me. Um, well, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't mean a London system, but it's interesting that they moved with D3 there. So I don't see that as often. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and just develop my other bishop. Uh, so I have the knight and the bishop lined up here. Uh, they play H3, uh, trying to you know keep me out of here. So pretty interesting. Um, uh, I guess I should probably castle, but maybe I'll just develop my other knight, go after their bishop. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so now they may press forward here. Should I go after their bishop? Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. Just go after their bishop right away. Okay, so now they're probably thinking about that. And I don't know if that was a good move uh, because, all right, so now they're just gonna go there. Guess I can go ahead and attack them. Then attack again. And then, well, now they can just retreat. <laughs> so did that really gain me much? Uh, I don't know. All right, well. Hmm. Guess I'll go ahead and uh, let's see. I don't know about this. Guess I'll go ahead and do that. Pick up. Uh, I don't know. This game kind of turned a little strange. So I don't know. We'll just see what happens here. Okay. Well, I could pick off this pawn and then retreat my knight, I guess. Keep their king stuck in the center. I think that would be the best move. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now we can retreat our knight. Um, OK. 
Okay. So. Hmm. If I go here, though, he can push his pawn forward. So we pretty much have to do that. All right, so now he's trying to attack. Go ahead and do that. All right, so what will he do now? Um, he could probably just move his rook out you know to here maybe and then get his king uh you know kind of castle in two moves bring his rook to f1 uh, then he could yeah and then bring his king back over there all right so i might as well go ahead and castle um let's see here so we'll go ahead and do that we'll castle And then, you know, should probably watch out if he brings his bishop down there and pins me. Yep, okay, so that's what he's doing. Then I have to watch out. You know, I have to be careful of what he does after that. So, I, mean, I guess I could force him to capture right away. So I'll go ahead and do that. Or, you know, he could retreat, I guess. All right. So what do I do now? Um, hmm. Wow. Well, could attack again. Ah, we'll just keep attacking. Just keep attacking. All right, then we'll move here, help protect the center, try and get our bishop out and attack his queen. All right, so we'll do that, attacking his queen. And then we could push forward in the center. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now we might as well attack his bishop, maybe. Um, or do we march up here and attack? No. Well, maybe we could do that. Hmm. All right. Go ahead and do that. We'll attack his pawn. All right, so what can he do? What threats do we have? All right, so he just moves back there. Um, hmm. Do we go ahead and capture here? Do we capture towards the center and get rid of our isolated pawn? All right. Well,
All right, so what I'm thinking is if I move this knight up here, attacking his bishop, and he retreats back, you know, do I want to jump this knight up here, but then he could capture? Then what do I do? Hmm. All right. Well... guess we will go there all right well we should get rid of this isolated pawn so we'll go ahead and do that And I guess we could attack his queen. Well, the problem will be this past pawn that he has here on b4. So, and then I'm thinking, well, what if he captures here? I'm attacking this queen, but he could capture my rook on a8. Okay, well. Hmm. Guess I should march up here. Well, might as well go there, line up on his rook, uh, attack this pawn, blockade his past uh, pawn there. All right, so now I'm forced to capture that. All right, so he goes ahead and protects that. Now, do I have time to march this knight down here and then move forward? Okay. Hmm. Can I add more pressure? Uh, to this pawn. Mm. Well, we could go ahead and attack. Attack his bishop and then jump forward and try and grab this pawn, but he'll you know he may capture with his bishop. Now uh, we'll see here. Now, okay, so he decides to capture. Now, how should I capture? Do I capture towards the center? Hmm. Or do I keep my pawns intact around my king and capture with my E pawn? So if the E pawn captures, well, then that could let him have a stronger center here with these two pawns. All right. Well, do I capture that way and then bring this pawn up? Or do I open up? Maybe this line could be used to attack. It could either open my king up more or give me open lines to his. Hmm. Open lines to his queen, or excuse me, his king.
All right, well, go ahead and capture that way. Let's see what he does here. That does kind of leave some gaps in my position. <laughs> All right. All right, well, now I can just take this pawn. Hmm. All right. Okay, so now he's attacking. Hmm. Well, hmm. I guess I should just march this forward. All right, do I have any kind of sacrifice where I capture this? Now his knight would come down and I could go there or you know capture the other pawn with my queen. Uh, do I just block him out? All right, I guess we'll attack his queen, see what he does. But am I going to be in trouble if he captures, I capture, and then he moves his rook, forking my bishop and my knight. I'm going to have to move... Okay, so he does that. All right, so now. If I go after his Peace. Okay, so now we go there and we get his other knight. Ah, but he'll be able to block. Oh, he didn't block. Okay. So we'll just start attacking. Let's see, let's see. All 
All right, so now I have a problem with, do I go there? His king is gonna jump down into the position there. And then he'll go after this pawn. So, if I go up there and then he moves down there, he'll be able to pick that off. Uh, it's not looking too good. So, uh, I need to watch out about protecting this pawn. If I go there, then swing back over. The problem is his king is going to jump up there. All right, so we'll just go ahead and do that. See what he does. Now I might have an advantage of these past pawns over here. Okay. All right, so if I bring this pawn up to g3, he can just attack it. Wait a minute. Okay, if I bring it up here and he attacks it, then I can bring it up again, or he can just jump in front of it there. So if I go here, he could just go up to here. Hmm. All right, so this is the turning point in the game. I need to figure out what I should be doing here. All right, do I push this past pawn? All right, I guess I'll just move the other pawn, get both of them moving. All right, now he's trying to cause a problem there. So I need to do that. All right, so that should put him in a little bit of a problem. Okay, so he resigned. I guess he figured that that pawn, uh, you know, along with this one, these two past pawns would break through. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and do a quick game review and then an analysis. All right, so the game review, let's see what the computer finds here. All right, so we played at 91.3, 
versus their 84.6. Uh, and it looks like, let's see, we had, uh, we played pretty good four inaccuracies versus their nine. Excuse me, they had one mistake and one miss. Neither of us had any blunders. All right, let's start this review. So as the computer blasts through the moves, it looks like bishop to c5 is the last book move. So then they move that pawn. All right, and the game kind of went crazy. So I'm going to have to do more studying of this uh, opening and you know, especially that variation. I wasn't sure exactly what to play there. Um, so at this point, it's saying that uh, the game is even. So let's take a look here. Uh, now, oh, black is ahead here. Mm, because of that. Uh, well, yeah, we're just ahead in material. All right, anyway, we'll just make it through here to the rest of the game. And... Okay, so the description here, uh, it says you really outplayed your opponent in that when your opponent played better than you in the opening. It was an incredible middle game by both of you. Your end game precision was a cut above your opponent. So they played at 1900 and ooh, I got 2150 there. So, you know, if I can keep that up, maybe uh, I'll be able to you know, creep my way up closer to a 2000 rating here. So in the opening, they had 95.4 versus our 89.5. So I'll have to see what I could have done better in the opening. And then for the middle game, it uh, looks like they had 88.5, I had 91.3, and then in the end game, they had 68.3, and we had 92.4. So the end game really helped there. So study those end games. All right, so now we'll go back. Uh, oh, well, it looks like the game is still blasting through the final moves here. Okay, so this was the end position where they resigned. So let's take a look at the analysis and we'll go back to the beginning. Uh, and I'll try and go through this pretty quick. Uh, that way the video isn't going on forever. All right, so E4, E5, knight, or excuse me, bishop to C4, the bishop's opening. Uh, all right. And here it looks like knight to f6 is the move the computer likes the best, which is what I ended up playing. Uh, and then now uh, it looks like knight to c3 uh, is the most recommended move. d3 is second, which is what they played. And that's a book move in this bishop's opening, uh, the Berlin defense in the bishop's opening, which... I'm more familiar with the Berlin defense in the Rui Lopez opening. All right, so here it says that I should have played uh, C6 here. Would be the only move that the computer says keeps the advantage with black. So because I was you know, unfamiliar with this opening, I played bishop to C5, and now white has a little bit of an advantage. Uh, and then... They played h3, which it says is good, uh, but it looks like it wants a uh, knight to f3 here to just develop the knights, get ready to castle. Uh, and then I played knight to c6, but uh, what does it say? Once again, the computer wants uh, the c pawn to move up here to help fortify the center because then I'd be able to push uh, to d5 and attack his bishop. Uh, and so I developed my knight and finally they decide to push their c pawn. Uh, although it does want knight to f3 again because then white will be able to castle. So uh, here I play knight to a5 which it says is good but d5 would have been better. So just taking control of the center. 
And in a lot of these e4, e5 games, if black can play d5, push his pawn to d5, uh, that really helps equalize the game uh, and maybe nullify some of white's advantage. But here I played this uh, knight on the rim is dim move here. So you know, that wasn't the best move. The computer says it's good, but... Um, and they could have just forked my pieces immediately so I don't know here it says that's the best move bishop to b5 and then a6 is excellent but it prefers just retreating that knight so you know this wasn't the best line I definitely have room for improvement uh, in this opening alright so bishop to a4 trying to keep his bishop I attack it again and now he forks both of my pieces so it says that is good but bishop retreat would have been better because then I would just have to retreat uh, one of my pieces to avoid this fork uh, so I capture and that's an inaccuracy swinging the game to almost plus one in white's favor just bishop to a7 uh, would have been better there. All right, so now b takes c5. Just capturing uh, the bishop would have been better. So uh, instead, queen takes a4 is a miss. And now black is ahead here after that move. Uh, and it looks like knight to b7 would have been the best move and so i played bishop captures here to uh, capture the f pawn uh, to keep his king in the middle of the board but i don't know it didn't really help much anyway because his king was able to you know retreat into the corner eventually so knight to b7 would have been better but i played the second best move it says this move is good and uh you know black is still in the lead here uh king captures is best now my knight's under attack and must retreat uh but with that move white has the advantage and i don't know i was worried if i retreated there knight to c6 that he could have just, hmm, that he could have attacked my knight and my pawn, you know, with b5. But then I guess my knight could have just repositioned over to here, possibly. And, you know, then if he captured my pawn, my rook and bishop would work together and recapture. All right, so... Uh, it looks like knight to b7 was a good move, but now white is in the lead again. Uh, knight to f3 is excellent, but c4 would have been better. Huh, c4. Well, I guess that would let you bring your knight up to c3. And, you know, maybe push forward and gain a pawn majority on the queen side. So... Uh, queen to e7 is what I played next, and it says I should have just castled immediately. Uh, but I wanted to protect the pawn here. Hmm. So. I don't know. That's interesting that it did not uh, worry about that pawn. It wanted me to go ahead and castle. So I guess we could take a look at that. So the computer prefers castling here so if we do that it says that's the best move uh, but what about capturing the e5 pawn with the knight hmm I mean, would this be a problem if that pawn is captured now it says black would be in the lead after d5 
says that's a mistake to capture that pawn. So if we play d5, which the computer recommends, well now, uh, why wouldn't they just capture that? Is it leaving their king too far out in the open? Perhaps. Okay, yeah, I think if they, you know, it would just have their king too far out in the open by doing that. So if capture, uh, well, then the knight could capture, which the computer recommends as best. This pawn, this knight is, white's knight is kind of hanging there. Um, looks like knight to f3 is best. Uh, and there's threats, you know, before that knight move back of the queen checking white's king out here. All right, so anyway, before I get uh, too far into that, I played queen d7 to protect the pawn. Uh, and then... The rook is brought over here, taking control of the half-open f-file and allowing room for the king to retreat into the corner. Uh, it says that's an excellent move, but once again, c4 is preferred, which I guess would prevent me from pushing that d-pawn. All right, castling uh, is the best move. And now we have bishop to g5, an inaccuracy that swings the game back slightly in black's favor. Uh, once again, the computer really wants that c4 move to help control the center. Um, all right, so bishop to g5, pinning my knight. And it looks like knight to d8. Is the best move here or d6 h6 so I play uh, h6 which is still a, a good move excellent move um, and so now we have uh, looks like capturing with the capturing the knight with the bishop would have kept the game even uh, but he retreats an inaccuracy now black is in the lead uh, I play g5, which is most recommended. Um, so that's the best move. He retreats, also the best, of course, to avoid losing the bishop. And now uh, the computer wants d6, which is what I played. Uh, and knight at b to d2. So developing this other knight is the best move now. Uh, but instead the king moves back into the corner, which is also an excellent move. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, I make an inaccuracy here, which puts the game at about even again. Bishop to d7, when knight to d8 would have been better. Uh, yeah, knight to d8, it looks like from there I could reposition up to e6, and then maybe have both of my knights aimed up here, uh, at this f4 square. You know, if I jump this knight over to h5, which I did later in the game, attacking the bishop, and then jump over here. Uh, so, yeah, this knight is not doing much at all here over on b7. So it needs to be repositioned to get back into the game. Uh, so if we go back and look at that, so knight to d8. Uh, and then, you know, if this other knight develops, well then, it uh, looks like knight to h5, and then, you know, maybe later bringing this other knight up to e6 here. So this knight would attack the bishop, uh, and so this would help get this knight that was over on b7, you know, I reposition it to the edge of the board, but then I'm going to jump it up into the game up here on e6. Okay, before we go too deep into that variation, let's take a look at the rest of the game here. So, the bishop, an inaccuracy, attacking the queen. Uh, the best move is queen to d1, uh, but my opponent plays queen to c2. And the game is still in black's favor here. Uh, so, it looks like knight to h5 uh, would have been the best move, but I played c5, and now the game is even. So, 
Uh, looks like knight to h5 immediately attacking that bishop uh, would have been better. You know, and then trying to push this f-pawn to attack his central pawn here. All right. Uh, so, in the game, c5. And a3 is played, which is best. And so, here I was trying to decide what to do. It looks like, once again, knight to h5 is best. Uh, c takes b4 is second best. But instead, I played a5. And oh, now it's saying a5 is second best. So the computer is probably a little unsure what the best move is at this point. Um, well, not the best move, but it's unsure uh, what path to take forward here. So knight at b to d2. It looks like that's White's best move, to activate this knight sitting over here doing nothing. Um, so, you know, my opponent does move that knight finally. Um, and so, I go ahead and capture with the C pawn, which is best. Uh, but now White is in the lead here. So, capture, which is best, capture towards the center. Uh, to help control more of the center with your pawns. Uh, then I capture, but better would have been to move my rook over here on the, the C file and line up on the queen and pin this pawn to the queen. All right, so if we go back and look at that, um, that would have kept the game even uh, with this move. And then it looks like capture, but now I would be able to recapture. And the game would be close to even. You know, maybe a slight edge for white. Um, okay, so if we go back here. All right, we exchange pawns over here. Um, they capture, now they have a passed pawn. It looks like rook at a to c8 would have been better. Um, you know, instead, I play the second best move. Um, they could have captured this rook here, and then I wouldn't be able to capture their queen because the other rook would have been pinned to my king. Um, so they move their queen. That's an inaccuracy. Now black has a slight edge here. And... It looks like rook capturing the other rook would have been better. All right. So is that worth taking a look at? Let's see. Rook takes a8. Uh, you know, they capture my rook. I recapture. Maybe their queen could come down in the game, but... I don't, I don't know if it would lead to much. Instead, the computer recommends after a rook exchange to bring this knight up to c4. Okay. Uh, queen to d2, or sorry, queen to b2 was an inaccuracy played in the game. And now we have uh, bishop to b5, which is best, attacking this unprotected pawn and lining up on the rook over here. So... Uh, they capture, which is best. I recapture. And now the knight retreat, which is excellent. Um, but it looks like... Hmm. The best move would have been knight to h4. Why is that? Knight to h4... What kind of move is this? <laughs> oh, I guess they could threat. Well, you know, why wouldn't we just capture that knight? Is there any reason we wouldn't just capture that knight? Oh, well, then they could, if I captured their knight and they would recapture. All right, we'll take a look at it. If I go here, well, then uh, white would be in the lead because they could just capture. And now they're pinning my knight to the queen and they would capture this knight. 
Uh, so that's why we can't play that. All right, so if we go back to knight to h4, the computer recommends capturing uh, with bishop takes d3 here. And then, oh, and now the computer's saying queen to e6 would have been better. Okay. Well, anyway, that gives you an idea of, you know, an idea, well, let's see. It, it just shows you in chess games how sometimes there are crazy looking moves like this knight to h4, which looks ridiculous at first, uh, but with tactics involved, uh, anything can happen, you know, especially if I would have captured, then they recapture. Now the rook and the bishop team up to uh, pin this uh, knight and capture it because it's pinned to the queen. Uh, so uh, in the game, we had knight to e1, the knight retreating. Uh, so finally, I move over here and attack this bishop, but now it's not as good. Knight to d8 would have been better. So bishop retreats. Uh, king to h2 would have been better defending. Huh. So that's kind of interesting. Instead, it wanted king to h2 there. So then if I would have captured, uh, the king would have to recapture and be pulled up to g3. Hmm. All right. Well, in the game, we had the retreat. My knight moves forward, but that's an inaccuracy. And now the game is in white's favor. So better would have been knight to d8. So this was probably premature moving that knight here. Um, you know, and allowing him to mess up my pawn structure. And I needed to do something about this knight, which is sitting here doing nothing. So once again, knight to d8, and then repositioning up to e6 would have been better. So you know, this is probably my worst place piece, this knight here on b7. Um, you know, At least this knight on the edge at h5 can jump back into the game. All right, but it would take this knight on b seven two moves to jump back into the game here going to d8 and then up to e6 okay moving on knight inaccuracy here uh, and then capture is best so i captured with e takes f4 which was the best move um, they go ahead and play g3 and in inaccuracy better would have been knight to b1 uh, to reposition this knight uh, down here, probably to c3, and attack my bishop. All right, so um, it says that just capturing, well, now it's not saying that's the best move. So let's take a look. If we go back, uh, queen to e5 immediately is the best move. Hmm. And f takes g3 is second best now, um, which is what I played. So then now it looks like rook to f6 would have been best here to just go ahead and attack that pawn. But instead, oh, okay, maybe that wasn't the best move. Let's see, computer, what are you thinking? No, uh, rook to f6, sorry, that's rook to f3, which is the third best move. So rook to f6 is the best move uh, lining up on this h pawn and you know if that h pawn is captured then there could be mate threats with this queen lined up down through the middle of the board so here looks like rook to a2 is best which I completely, you know, I didn't even look for that move. Rook to a2, counterattacking the queen, which is protecting uh, this rook. So let's take a look at that. Rook to a2 is what the computer says is best. Well, then we would have rook to g6. Check. 
you know, and then capture of that rook with the pawn. Uh, and then the queen would capture over here. So they would succeed in tripling my pawns up, which looks absolutely horrible. Uh, and now king to h7, I believe. King to h7. So uh, now it looks like queen to d5. Just centralizing the queen uh, and attacking. Black would still be in the lead. Uh, but the game, well, I don't know. Here it's saying that uh, black is ahead pretty good at this point. All right. What does it recommend here? Just bishop to e8, probably repositioning and then moving my bishop up here to attack the queen. Okay, before I get too deep into that line, let's see what happened in the end of the game here. So queen to e5 is excellent, but now the game is even. Capturing is best. Uh, I recapture, of course. And then they make the best move, forking uh, both of my pieces here. So it looks like rook to a1 is best, or bishop to d7 is also not bad. Uh, so I go here, rook to a1. We could take a look at this bishop to d7 move, which is kind of surprising. Bishop to d7, uh, and then king to g2 is the best move, because if the rook were to capture here, uh, that would allow bishop capture, and then I'm threatening to attack up here with my rook, pinning the knight, and the king would not be able to go over and protect that knight. Uh, so I guess, well, this knight could drop up here, move up here and protect it. Uh, let's see what the computer recommends. Knight to c2. So just moving the knight immediately. All right. Uh, I'll try and finish this up before I dig too deep on any one thing. So I move up here, which the computer says is best. Now it recommends just capturing on b5, uh, which is what they did. I capture... Um, now king to f1, or excuse me, was that knight to f? Knight to f1 is recommended. Just blocking, uh, which is, I thought they were going to uh, play something different here. Let me see if I can remember. Um, okay, so knight to f1 by white is the most recommended move. Oh, no, actually, rook takes. Uh, why didn't they just capture? Oh, okay, they're in check. Okay, I better hurry this up because now uh, I'm not thinking quite clearly. Okay, so they were in check. Instead of blocking, they run away and they're attacking this pawn. Uh, but this is a mistake because now I can pick off their knight. So, and this is the most uh, recommended move. Uh, and then they play the best move, capturing. All right, now uh, it's recommended that I go ahead and capture, which is what I do. They play the best move, capturing. And now we have capture. Uh, king moves forward, which is best. And now uh, king to g7. Computer also says rook to e3 would have been better. Hmm. Rook to e3. But then they could still jump down here and protect this... Uh, Oh, no, that wouldn't work. All right, I was just thinking that, you know, if their king moves here, I could 
jump down. I could check them, but they would be able to pick off this other e-pawn. All right, so the final moves here. King to f5 is in an inaccuracy. Rook to b6 would have been better. Um, I pick off this pawn, but Rook to f3 with check would have been better. So, I don't know, that's kind of interesting. Um, capture, I go behind the passed pawn, which is usually a good idea, but it says g4 immediately would have been better. Um, they move up here towards my rook, um, and rook to b6 would have been better. So I start marching my passed pawn, which is best. Uh, they attack my rook, which is an inaccuracy. Uh, rook to b5 would have been better. Uh, and now I retreat away, uh, as far away from the king as I can. And I'm also trying to guard the queening square. Uh, so now they move the rook over, although rook to a7 would have been better. Uh, and now I move this other pawn to help uh, fortify the push of my G pawn. So they start pushing forward, but rook to D5 would have been better. Uh, because with rook to D5, so if we take a look at that, let's see, rook to D5 immediately attacking this. Now it looks like king to H6 would have been better. Hmm, king to h6 would have been better. So computer recommends this. And then rook to d8, being able to come in behind my king and attack these pawns from behind. Uh, all right, so let's see what happened in the game. If we go back here, uh, I push my h pawn. Uh, they move their pawn forward, uh, which the threat was... If I didn't move my king up, they could just push this and attack, and this pawn, this rook is pinning this pawn to my king. Uh, so, uh, king to g6, although immediately pushing is better. So let's take a look at that. So, uh, g3 would have been best. And then now it's recommending rook to d3 right here rook to d3 to attack this pawn or rook to d2 excuse me rook to d2 is even better but i don't know then i'd be able to just push this pawn forward okay and at this point white is in trouble so let's take a look at the final moves um my king moves up they start pushing their passed pawn, uh, and then I play g3, and here it says this is excellent, but h4 would have been even better. Um, but either way, I'm five points ahead uh, and winning pretty much at this point. So the game may have continued uh, with rook to d3, attacking, Pawn protects, uh, rook to d4, the king moving up here uh, to attack this other pawn. Then if the rook captures, g2 can be played. Then now there's no way to stop that pawn. Uh, rook to h7, promotion, rook captures with check, king captures, and, you know, black would just be winning here. And it also says at this point there's a mate in seven. Okay, so that's how the game could have continued. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to leave comments or suggestions. Uh, any requests for videos you would like to see in the future. Um, I changed the color of the uh, board and the pieces a little bit recently. 
Uh, so let me know if you don't like this you know, different color scheme or you'd like to see something else. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you everyone for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and have a super chess day.